Margaret White, prequel to Carrie White's origin, prequel to Ms. Marvel and the Multiverse of Madness Origins. Prologue Margaret White was a religious fanatic sorta like how most people are. She would often pray. Like every day of the week. Chapter 1 Margaret and her husband were having sex and Margaret ends up pregnant. A few years later Margaret's husband divorced Margaret. Epilogue As Margaret White was reading she felt a pain in her stomach. Margaret goes to her bedroom. Her Bible lies on one of the steps. Blood was also dripping as well. Margaret now on her bed about to give birth to her daughter Carietta White. Carrie White's origin story prequel to Ms. Marvel in the Multiverse of Madness Origins. Prologue Margaret White was screaming in pain while giving birth in her home in Carlin Street. God help. Help me. She screamed help me, Lord. I'm dying. What is this? Cancer? Margaret White said in pain she screamed again Mother Mary, full of grace, protect me and guide me in my hour of death. She said. She screams and then gasps and notices a baby girl. It's a test she says as she's grabbing the scissors to kill Carrie cut it down. Cut it down. She said she tries to kill Carrie but she's stopped by Carrie as Carrie cries SHH says Margaret White to Carrie. Chapter 1 Carrie, now five years old, creeps towards the fence that separates the white property from the next door neighbor's yard. On the other side of the fence, a ripe, 18 year old girl, is Tal Horan, sunbathes on a towel in a white bikini, dozing. Estelle starts awake. Little Carrie is staring at her. Carrie, you scared me. Pie, said Estelle Horan. Pie, said Carrie pointing at Estelle you have dirty pillows. Said Carrie what? You mean, my breasts? Questioned Estelle. I wish I had some. Said Carrie. Estelle laughs you will. When you're older. Said Estelle Horan. No, I won't. My mama says only bad girls have dirty pillows. Said Carrie. We ill, I'm a good girl. And doesn't your mom have breasts? Questioned Estelle. My mama was wicked when she made me with my daddy, she says, and that's how come she has them. Said Carrie. Like a banshee, Margaret White is at her back door, shrieking. Ka'ariata ah. Margaret White shouted. The little girl freezes, caught. Estelle instinctively tries to cover herself. Margaret lumbers towards them. Mrs. White said Estelle. Poor. Strumpet. Said Margaret White to Estelle. We were just talking said Estelle. Behind Margaret. Some members of the sect have gathered in the doorway, at the windows. Margaret grabs Carrie's arm and yanks her away from Estelle, towards their house. And you. I told you, Carrie, didn't I? I warned you about her. Margaret White said. I'm sorry, Mama, I, 
I forgot said Carrie. Margaret shakes Carrie. She's the whore of Babylon, Carrie, and it's a sin. It's a sin to consort with her. Said Margaret. Mama, please, I'm so sorry said Carrie. More worshippers have come out of Margaret's house. It's tell us mother comes out of their house, afraid someone's being murdered. Is tell? What's happening? Said Estelle's mom Margaret accuses Estelle's mom. Your daughter is a slut, and you revel in it. Excuse me? Questioned Estelle's mom. Exposing herself to the world. Showing her flesh. And you allow it. Margaret White said. Mom, she's hurting Carrie said Estelle let that girl go, Margaret, or I'll call the police said Estelle's mom. You see, Carrie? You see how they are? How they threaten, said Margaret White. Carrie sobs. Mo mama. Said Carrie. The cacophony builds, with Margaret, Estelle, and Estelle's mother all yelling the worshippers staring Carrie wailing as Margaret drags her back towards the house. Suddenly a pebble falls from the sky and hits the white roof, bouncing off it. Then another one. Margaret stops shaking Carrie, looks up. A third rock hits the back steps. Estelle, get over here now. Estelle's mom said. Estelle races to her mother as more stones like big pieces of hail continue to fall, all over the white backyard. One member of the sect crosses himself. Margaret kneels in front of her sobbing, hysterical daughter. Stop it, girl. You stop it right now. Margaret White said. But Carrie can't. As more stones fall. Estelle and her mother cower under their back porch for cover, but the stones are only falling on the white property. In a panic, Margaret takes Carrie up in her arms, but their house is too far away to get to safely. So. To shield Carrie from the falling stones, Margaret huddles against one of the oak trees in the backyard, as the storm of stones continues. One smashes through the roof another hits and dislodges the drain pipe. The members of the sect are terrified this is a true sign of the devil. Margaret strokes her daughter's hair, trying to calm and comfort her. It's alright, it's alright, Carrie. S-H-H-H-S-H-H-H. -h -h he forgives you, Jesus forgives you, S-H-H-H-S-H-H-H. -h 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 -h. Margaret White said. Epilogue. Years later unknown to everyone, during the disastrous aftermath of the prom, Sue went out looking for Carrie and found her in the bathtub, drowned, with her mother's dead body nearby. Sue manages to revive Carrie with CPR and has telepathic contact with Carrie, who transmits her the memories of her life and decides to hide her, while the scandal quiets down. Sue agrees to sneak Carrie out of town to somewhere in Florida after Carrie pays respects to her dead mother at night so that she cannot be seen. As the two drive off into the rainy night, Carrie receives a nightmarish vision of her mother, who warns her that sin never dies. Later she sees another vision of Chris before she turns back to reality. She then looks towards the great unknown. M's Marvel in the Multiverse of Madness Origins Prologue As Carol Danvers, 
The MCU Captain Marvel was taking a quick trip to our neighborhood. She bumped into a young Carrie White walking around in our neighborhood. Carol Danvers saw that Carrie was the young girl who had telekinesis. This got Carol Danvers curious about this girl since she never experienced a real person with telekinesis. Carol approached and said hello to Carrie. Carrie White was so shocked to see Carol Danvers. She could have never imagined a real-life superhero existing in her own universe. Carol Danvers then had the chance to talk with Carrie White. So Carol Danvers had a quick conversation with Carrie White about her life. It turns out Carrie was a huge fan of Captain Marvel. Both her and Carol Danvers talked for hours and became great friends. So after they talked a few hours, Captain Marvel realized that Carrie would be a great friend and teammate on their team. Chapter 1 it is currently the day after Carrie and Carol Danvers met and talked for some time. Carrie White is walking back to her home when suddenly she sees Captain Marvel waiting for her at her front door. So Captain Marvel decides to tell Carrie that she'd be a perfect member of the Avengers. Carrie White was so excited. She never imagined being one of the Avengers and having the chance to be a part of it. So Carrie then tells Captain Marvel that she'd be happy to be a new and useful member of the Avengers. So after talking for a few hours, Captain Marvel offers to take Carrie White to the Avengers base. So Captain Marvel introduces her to the other Avengers such as Spider-Man, Black Panther, Iron Man, Captain America, and more. Carrie White is so excited that she met some of the most awesome heroes ever. So Captain Marvel and Carrie White finally meet the other Avengers. So Carrie White and Captain Marvel are now part of the Avengers. Epilogue One day while Katie was walking down the street, Katie sees a girl that appears to be wearing one of those beautiful fangirl cosplay costumes for the MCU's Captain Marvel character. So Katie goes over to see the awesome cosplay costume. And also sees a teenager wearing a prom dress. So Katie meets with the girl with the awesome cosplay costume. So Katie sees that the girl is also wearing a Captain Marvel wig and other Captain Marvel themed gear. So Katie and the two girls get to know each other. So after meeting each other, the three decide to be best friends forever and the three become a dynamic trio. So after Katie, Captain Marvel, and Carrie White all become a trio of new friends, their friendship lasts forever. Ms. Marvel in the Multiverse of Madness Prologue Captain Marvel was saving the Earth fighting bad guys even survived death and helped the Avengers defeat Thanos and has also done cocaine and nearly died from it and meanwhile on Earth Kamala decided to take a nap even drew pictures of her idol Captain Marvel and was also watching Ape of M3 again and then watched Cocaine Bear Chapter 1 Kamala was relaxing on her bed until she accidentally swapped places with Captain Marvel. Oh no Captain Marvel said. She rushes to try and find Ms. Marvel. Meanwhile Kamala kept swapping places with other people across the multiverse just to get home. Kamala ends up encountering a female android with blonde hair she introduces herself Hi I'm M3 Gan she said. Hi M3 Gan I'm Kamala Kamala said. All of a sudden Kamala hears a whistle it was my and my was about to die. Shit said M3 Gan. M3 Gan what about me I'm trying to find my way home and I need your help Kamala said. Kamala look you need to help me because if I die then there's no M3 Gan for this universe M3 Gan said. We have to figure out how to get you home Kamala M3 Gan said. 
Chapter 2 Meanwhile back on Earth 199,999 Captain Marvel thinks of how to find Kamala. She goes and checks in the Stephen King multiverse and asks Carrie White to help. Carrie I need your help said Carol. What do you want me to do Carol said Carrie. You need to help me find Kamala Carol said. Meanwhile Kamala and M3 Gan go to Fall Universe. Shit why are we 2,000 feet above ground Kamala said. Oh no 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 M3 Gan said in fear. We gotta get the fuck down or something Kamala said. That same death whistle can be heard again it was my and is trying to kill M3 Gan for cursing her with the trauma entity. Run M3 Gan shouted. You fucking asshole I'm gonna fucking kick your fucking ass my said. My kicks M3 Gan's groin. Chapter 3 Kamala grabs M3 Gan saving her. Thank you Kamala M3 Gan said. You're welcome Kamala said. Meanwhile Carol and Carrie look through finding Kamala and check and see if she is in this universe and Katie tells them that M3 Gan and Kamala went to a different universe saying that they were trying to get Kamala back home. Meanwhile M3 Gan and Kamala figure out that someone is after Kamala. Kamala, I think your idol is after you believe me Katie texted me that stating that you need to go with her M3 Gan said don't know I rather do it with you Kamala said. Carrie, Katie, and Captain Marvel arrive to Kamala and M3 Gan's location. Kamala what the fuck were you thinking asshole Captain Marvel said. Well I was trying to get home Kamala said. All of a sudden a portal opens and out pops Charlie McGee. Pennywise, Esther Coleman, the Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death Appear Holy cow that's a lot of people that we have on our team M3 Gan said. I know right M3 Gan Camilla said. Ming shows up in her red panda form and then they fight my my poofs into her red panda form she tries choking my but my escapes killing Ming in the process damn it M3 Gan said you need to listen to your parents my M3 Gan said. All of a sudden Wednesday and Ina show up and Wednesday sees a vision that could possibly help them look here's how to do it I'm going to try and distract her M3 Gan I need your help with it. All Stephen King characters I need your help with this Benny Rice I need you to lure my. Carrie I need you to telekinetically lift my. Ellie I need you and Esther Coleman to annoy my. On my signal Charlie McGee I need you to burn my Captain Marvel and Kamala I need you to to help peanut out with defeating my said Wednesday. So this plan should help save the multiverse right M3 Gan said. Suddenly Sara shows up what do you want me to do Wednesday said Sara. Shoot my said Wednesday. Enid begins by bidding Mai's legs off. Ellie Greed and Esther Coleman annoy Mai. Pennywise lures Mai. Carrie lifts Mai with her telekinesis. Kamala breaks Mai's left arm. And Captain Marvel breaks Mai's right arm. Wednesday chops my in half. M3 Gan chops my's head off. There we did it M3 Gan said. The gunslinger shoots my in the head. We have to go said Wednesday. M.A. Tilda copyright Rika Chavez opens a portal for the Stephen King characters. Thanks for everything Carrie said Captain Marvel. America Chavez opens a portal for M3 Gan and Katie thanks for everything Kamala said M3 Gan. M.A. Tilda copyright Rika Chavez opens a portal for Esther Coleman. Thanks for everything said Esther. Epilogue America Chavez opens a portal for Sara. 
Thanks for everything Sara said America Chavez opens a portal for Kamala She gives Captain Marvel a hug thanking her and then leaves. America Chavez opens a portal to space and Captain Marvel enters and thanks America Chavez and then leaves. America Chavez opens a portal back home. Ms. Marvel in a universe of her own. Prologue Ms. Marvel is in a city with her family. She decides to ask her mom if she can watch the Hulu original series Castle Rock. Mom can I watch the Hulu original series Castle Rock? Asked Kamala Castle Rock questions her mom what the fuck is Castle Rock? Asked Kamala's mom it's based on the Stephen King multiverse it has Bill Skarsgård and Sissy Spacek in the series. And Annie Wilkes appears in the second season but not voiced by Kathy Bates. Plus it also explains more of Annie Wilkes' backstory before the events of Misery. Kamala explains to her mom. Sure Kamala said Kamala's mom. Chapter 1, Ms. Marvel's Day Out Ms. Marvel is walking through town. Ms. Marvel walks into an ice cream shop. She orders a strawberry sundae. She gets her sundae and eats it. And begins watching Castle Rock starting with Season 1 Episode 1. Um said Kamala feeling intrigued about this series. Epilogue After Kamala watched the entire Castle Rock series Kamala asks her mother if she can watch Pet Cemetery, 2019, her mom said maybe. Kamala puts the trailer for Pet Cemetery, 2019. On to show her mom what she means by Pet Cemetery Remake her mom now ends up having nightmares about her ancestors haunting her telling her that she shouldn't have shown the trailer and that they knew she might end up having nightmares about the dead trying to kill her. Ms. Marvel in the Multiverse of Madness the pre-sequel Prologue Kamala begins to have visions about her pet cemetery and sees a cursed burial ground and begins to sense something off about this. Kamala noticed that a family has already been buried here. It was the Creed family. What the fuck Kamala said? Chapter 1 Kamala's mother wakes Kamala telling her about something important her ancestors warned me about that movie you were wanting to watch Kamala's mom said. Chapter 2 Kamala ends watching every single Saw movie in timeline order. What the fuck did I just witness Kamala thought to herself. Suddenly Kamala ends up having a bad dream. Hello Kamala I want to play a game said the person on the TV. How the fuck do you know me Kamala said. Epilogue She got an idea on how to escape she decided to hack into it making it free her. It works. She escapes and heads back home where she can finally relax at home. Miss Marvel in the Multiverse of Madness, 2 Prologue Kamala and her friends go looking for answers at the Marvel Universe. They find that things are much more sinister than initially thought. A battle against evil and a trip down the multiverse awaits them. Can they defeat their own? Chapter 1 it had been days since Kamala had been brought to the Marvel Universe. She had found herself stranded, confused, and alone. She had tried to get back home, but she kept ending up in places she wasn't familiar with. She had almost lost hope when she met M3 Gan, a strange android that looked human. At first, Kamala had been afraid of her. But once she got to know her, she realized that she was actually really nice. Chapter 2 It had been ages since Kamala had last seen her own universe. 
But she finally did it. She had found her way home. And as she stepped into the portal, she felt her heart trace with anticipation. This was it. She was finally going to see her family and friends again. She stepped through the portal and into her own universe. Chapter 3 In the aftermath of the battle, Kamala sat down with M3 Gin and her friends to celebrate their victory. They all felt accomplished. After all, saving the entire multiverse from the threat of annihilation and having to see millions of universes destroyed was no easy feat. Kamala was extremely proud of herself and her friends, and she was glad that they all worked together to defeat such an evil force. Chapter 4 As Kamala and her friends walked away from the battle, they couldn't help but feel accomplished. They had done it. They had defeated the evil. Chapter 5 The final battle was epic and full of action. It was full of tension and excitement as Kamala and her friends fought against the evil that had threatened to destroy the multiverse. It was the fight of their lives. And when it was all over, they emerged victorious. The multiverse was finally safe. And Kamala was finally home. Epilogue Well, we did it Kamala. We finally saved the entire multiverse from destruction. Yeah, I know. It sure was rough, but in the end, I think we did a good job. Kamala and M3 Gan stood triumphantly over the defeated Mai. They had worked together with everyone in the multiverse and Shad defeated a terrible evil. M's Marvel and the Multiverse Prologue After defeating Mai and the terrible evil something supernatural happens in her home W what is going on Kamala thought in fear. M Mom Kamala said. Suddenly Kamala sees a ghost hanging her mom Mom Kamala shouted. Suddenly Kamala wakes up and realizes that she began having a vision about something that her mom died. Chapter 1 Kamala rushes to save someone from being dead but her keeps doing something to her and doesn't know what is causing it to happen. What is wrong with me why can't I do anything right Kamala thought to herself. Is it because they are warning me about something bad that is going to happen Kamala thought. Is it because of those Stephen King novels Kamala said. Chapter 2 Kamala called M3 Gan asking for her help. M3 Gan rushes in asking what she needs for some stupid reason you were listening to Stephen King novels again weren't you Kamala M3 Gan said. Yes Kamala said. What one M3 Gan said. Carrie Kamala said. Great guess Carrie ruined prom for you M3 Gan said. Epilogue M3 Gan gives her advice that whenever she is listening to or watching something Stephen King related Kamala needs to not do it all at once and do it in small increments. M's Marvel Into the Multiverse of Madness Prologue Kamala notices a warp pipe and calls M3 Gan to come down here and to get the others M3 Gan and the crew come to Kamala Kamala what is it M3 Gan said. I don't know Kamala said. I have no idea where it goes to Kamala said. Chapter 1 Kamala suggested that would go through and see where it takes them. Oh crap Wednesday why am I floating Enid said. All of a sudden Enid disappeared. Enid you alive Wednesday asked. 
Well I guess we should go and find out ourselves in 3 Gan said. They all enter the warp pipe. Chapter 2 Enid screams Wednesday comes and grabs hold of Enid's hand. You're going to be okay everything is going to be okay Wednesday tells Enid. How the heck is everything going to be okay Enid exclaimed. Suddenly Wednesday sees a vision about M3 Gan getting transported to the Dark Lands. M3 Gan Katie screams. Chapter 3 The rest of the crew went to the Dark Lands and Kamala ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom. What is this place? Kamala questioned. Toad comes and begins to notice a Muslim in the Mushroom Kingdom. Who are you? Toad asked Kamala. I'm Kamala. Kamala said I'm trying to find the rest of my crew. You know I'm 3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Penny Wise, Esther Coleman, the Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death Kamala said to Toad. Your friends they're all in the Darklands and that's controlled by Bowser Toad said. Chapter 4 In the Darklands M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Penny Wise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death all start notice something that's taking them to Bowser what is going where are they taking us Esther said. They are taking us to Bowser M3 Gan said. Chapter 5 Kamala, Mario, Luigi, Donkey Kong, and Princess Peach go to save Kamala's friends from the evil clutches of Bowser. So you're saying you all fought Bowser before right Kamala said. Yes Mario said. Chapter 6 M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Penny Wise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky. 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death All Freed now help Kamala, Mario, Luigi, Donkey Kong, Princess Peach, and Toad fight Bowser and defeat him. Epilogue Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Penny Wise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death all go home. Meanwhile in the Mushroom Kingdom Bowser still sings Peaches in his cage. Bowser sees a red balloon oh poop Bowser said. Meanwhile Luigi ends up being lured by his brother Mario only for Luigi to be eaten by Pennywise. M's Marvel Across the Multiverse of Madness Prologue The next day Mario woke up noticing that his brother was gone he had to urgently call the rest of the team to Mushroom Kingdom. Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Penny Wise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, and Death I Need Your Help Mario said. Chapter 1 
So you are saying that someone ate your brother M3 Gan said? Yes Mario said. It's not our Pennywise that did it Carrie said. The evil Pennywise is here about to lure Katie. Wednesday sees a vision where Katie dies and tries to prevent Katie from being dead. Chapter 2 Kamala thought of an idea of how to defeat evil Pennywise because she read it. The Losers Club they know Pennywise we need their help said Kamala. So your plan is to get the Losers Club to help us M3 Gan said. Chapter 3 The evil Pennywise tries to eat Toad but is distracted by some Yoshis and begins to eat them. And begins to devour every single Yoshi in the Mushroom Kingdom. Epilogue Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, the Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death all go to the Stephen King multiverse to see if the Losers Club are here and they found them and recruit them. M's Marvel Beyond the Multiverse of Madness Prologue Meanwhile in the Mushroom Kingdom the evil Penny Rice eats all of Donkey Kong's family. The evil Pennywise eats the Lumas and the Penguins. Evil Pennywise even eats all of Bowser's army. Chapter 1 Meanwhile Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, the Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, The Losers Club, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death all head to the Mushroom Kingdom only to find it and ruins the Yashas all being dead even Donkey Kong's family. Dad Donkey Kong shouted. Chapter 2 Wednesday has a vision about where evil Pennywise is going to. He's about to kill all of Nevermore Wednesday said. So he's like Kang the Conqueror right Mario asked Wednesday. Yes Wednesday said. The next thing is that he could be after Sue Snell Carey said. Chapter 3 Kamala, M3 Gan. Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, The Losers Club, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death all head to the TVA to warn them of a Pennywise variant wrecking havoc across the multiverse. Chapter 4 The TVA, Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, The Losers Club, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death all head to Nevermore to prune this evil variant of Pennywise. Chapter 5 The TVA, Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, 
The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, The Losers Club, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death All Confront the Evil Pennywise variant Donkey Kong Punches Evil Pennywise. Now you die said Donkey Kong. This is for eating my brother you stupido Mario said as he punches the evil Pennywise. The Losers Club defeat the evil Pennywise variant and the evil Penny Rise is taken to the Tvay. Epilogue Kamala, M3 Gan, Katie, Carrie, Wednesday, Enid, Captain Marvel, Charlie McGee, Pennywise, Esther Coleman, The Gunslinger, Ellie Creed, Sara, Ming. Jigsaw, Leatherface, Pooh, Piglet, The Children of the Corn, Chucky, 2019, The Death Angels, Jack Dorrance, The Cocaine Bear, Annabelle, Doris, America Chavez, The Losers Club, Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Death all go home while the TVA take care of the evil Pennywise thanks for your help Mario said. You're welcome Mario M3 Gan said.